In this video of Soulbox Electrical 2D, I will show you how to create symbols. Let's say you want to replace this motor with a different symbol. Go to Library, Symbols Manager, type in motor for the description, and find the motor you have. Right-click, Copy, and then right-click Paste to create a copy of this in the Symbols Manager. Go to the Report Mode, and you'll see that the one you have pasted has a plus one. Select that one. Double click on it to open it, and now you can edit it. Delete the old icon, go to Drawings, Insert Image, pick an image from your desktop, it must be a .bmp or a .dib, click OK, click and drag to insert and resize the icon. Then click on it and you can move it around by clicking on the little blue box in the middle. You can also resize it by dragging the blue handles at the corners. Close this and click yes. You will have saved it into the library. And now when you go to insert symbol, you can find it by searching motor in the description. Insert that into your line diagram drawing. Click OK. Delete the old motor and move this one into its place. Now I had previously created a GFCI that I want to use to replace this plug with. So to do this, I will right click on the plug, symbol, replace. I will type in GFCI and I will click on the GFCI I had created earlier. This will replace the symbol. In a schematic, I want to insert a symbol of a fan with a motor. So I'll type in fan into the description, and I'll pick this fan. Then when I try to insert it, you can see that there's only one connection point. I must edit this symbol so that it has two connection points, or I can create a new one with two connection points. To do this, go to the library, click on Symbols Manager, type in fan for the description, and then copy and paste the fan. Pick the new fan that was created. Double click on it. And now you can edit it. Delete the old connection point. Then go to drawing. Click on line. And draw a line down. You can see that it snaps into place. Move this along, and again, it is snapping into place. Copy and paste this. To prevent it from snapping into place, right click on O snap. Check the box that says Snap On and Close. Now you are free to drag and rotate this. Move it into place so it touches the circle. Do the same for the other line. Click on Edit Symbol, Connection Point, Continue the Point Insertion, right click to orient the connection point and then fit it onto that line. Click connection point again, continue the point insertion, and click on the line again. Now you have two insertion points. Close this, and click yes. Now the symbol has been saved. Click on the symbols manager, click on the symbol you've created, then click on properties. You can assign new properties to the symbol. For example, I'm going to rename it fan2. Then click OK. It has been renamed now. Close this. Go to the schematic and insert symbol. Click on other symbol and find the symbol you have just created. Insert it into the schematic. You might have to right click to rotate it. Then click OK. I hope you find this video helpful.